for her dog until it was just too late. That's right, Megan and Keegan, and that's exactly why Kari Thomas wants to share her story tonight so that other dog owners know what it looks like if your dog is having a heat stroke. Now, as full disclosure, I do have to tell you, Kari is a very close friend of mine. I even knew her dog, Apollo. So as you can imagine, this story hits especially close to home. Come on, man. You can do it. This is video Kari Thomas took of her dog Apollo on what she thought was a normal run at the reservoir Tuesday. We were probably about a mile into the run when he started stopping and just sitting. And I'm like, come on, come on, guy. And I'm thinking that he's just out of shape. Thomas says she was only out with Apollo for about 30 minutes around noon, but temperatures were well into the 90s. People say, like, you know, don't put your dog, you know, keep your dog in weather that you wouldn't be in yourself. So I figured if if I was dealing with it, then he would too. I think we kind of think that dogs are tougher than they really are. At the end of their run, Thomas says she had a hard time getting Apollo into the car. As soon as they got home, she hosed him down with cold water, but he couldn't stand up. Very fit Wamaraner. Um, he wasn't just out of shape. He, you know, he was dying, and I had no clue. It wasn't until a couple of hours later she realized he was having a heat stroke. Thomas rushed Apollo to the emergency vet, but unfortunately, doctors there told her it was too late. We need to look for, uh, you know, stress. You know, they're panting, they can't catch their breath. A lot of times you see their color around their eyes just gets a dark red color. Uh, so if there's any doubt, go ahead and bring them into your veterinarian. As for Kari, she describes her Apollo as the best dog in the world. You know, we ride bikes together, we walk around Fondren together. We take photos at the res together. And she wanted to share her story with us so other dog owners don't have to go through this. I don't think people realize how easy it is for something, for a dog to overheat like that and have a heat stroke. And I think if they knew that, um, you could prevent a lot of them. Now, veterinarians say other signs of a heat stroke are vomiting, diarrhea, and weakness. And if you do think your dog is overheated, they say every second counts getting them to the vet as quickly as possible. Megan and Keegan? And, and question for you. What about dogs who stay outside most of the time? What does Dr. Gill say is important for keeping them safe this summer? Well, Dr. Gill said, of course, kind of what we all know, make sure they have plenty of shade, a lot of water and free roam of their yard. He said it's not good to be tied up in this hot weather, but he did say if those temperatures get above 95 degrees, your best bet is bringing your dog inside. We're now live right outside of the studio and Parker 16 WAPT News. Hopefully